Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a pork roast. Alright, before I start my pork roast, I have some baked potatoes here. I'm going to put in a 400 degree oven for about an hour. Until they're soft. Set the timer here. Alright. I'm going to heat up my pressure cooker. All right, now that my pressure cooker is warmed up, I'm going to add in some olive oil. About two tablespoons. Spread that around. Now I have a, that's about a three pound pork roast there. I'm going to put that in and brown it. Grab some. I'm just going to brown the top of it rather than browning the whole thing because the bottom is going to brown while it's cooking. And now I'm browning. Uh, check it out see how it looks. It has to go a little bit. Alright, check this out. Well, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to turn my heat down temporarily. I'm going to season it. Some pepper. To taste. Some salt. That's also the taste. I'm putting about a half a teaspoon of And lastly, I'm going to add in some water. I'm just going to go with one cup of water. Alright, now I'm going to seal this up and turn the heat back up on high. Now I'm going to leave this on high and bring it up to pressure, and when it comes up to pressure, I'll be back. Alright, my pressure cooker is coming up to pressure now, so I'm going to turn my heat down to medium. And I'm going to allow this to cook under pressure for about 50 minutes. And then when that's done, I'm ready to open it up, I'll have you back. Now, uh, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can do this in a Dutch oven or a pot. Uh, don't brown it, just put it in there, put your seasonings in, put it in a 350 degree oven for about three hours covered. And about two hours and 40 minutes, take the top off and let it brown in the oven. But in the pressure cooker it's much, much faster, about 50 minutes. So when that's ready to come out, I'll be back. Alright, this is pressure cooked for 50 minutes and I allowed the pressure to uh, naturally release, took it off the heat and let it release. I'm going to take the pork roast out of here.
Okay. Grab a plate, see if I can do this without making a total mess. Alright. Alright, I left this rest for about 10 minutes before I cut into it. I'm going to cut this pork roast. So it just wants to fall apart on me here. You get the same results in the oven, just because you have to bake it longer. And this here is bone. This is actually uh, half of the pork loin that I got a good deal on. So I'll use the other half for another meal. Alright. Now some of this juice over here in the pressure cooker, I'm not going to throw that away. You can make gravy out of it, but today we're having cheese and broccoli potatoes with this, so I'm just going to dump that juice over top just for that super concentrated pork love. So we'll dump some of that on here. Alright. So there you have it, a seasoned pork roast in a pressure cooker, and I threw a cheese and broccoli baked potato on there and some peas. And until next time, I'll see ya.